Welcome to Adaptiva. In this video, we'll show you how quick and easy it is to set up an operating system deployment to use Peer-to-Peer -peer Pixie and our one-site download or alternate content provider for peer-to-peer -peer content delivery. By enabling Peer-to-Peer -peer Pixie, Adaptiva greatly improves operating system deployment efficiency by eliminating the need to involve network guys to set up a DHCP server and scope to answer Pixie requests or enable IP helper on all your routers. With Adaptiva, if a task sequence will run at the corporate network that hosts the site server, it will run on any remote site or subnet in your organization. Further, with our one-site downloader, we utilize peer-to-peer -peer delivery of operating system images, eliminating the need for a distribution server at each site or images being downloaded multiple times to a site if the distribution point is remote. To start with today, We'll go ahead and start an operating system install. And once we get this going, we'll go back and cover the steps we took to enable this to happen peer-to-peer -peer and utilizing the Adaptiva OneSite downloader. We'll set this task sequence as required so it installs hands-free and assign it as soon as possible. And the rest of the defaults are good for this simple demo. And now, we can go to the targeted XP client and restart it to get the operating system deployment going. Now let's go over the steps we took to set this up. In the Adaptiva workbench, let's start by going into the one site peer-to-peer -peer Pixie perspective. Here's where we enable P2P Pixie via the toggle box then set the install directory for the Windows Automated Installation Kit. By default, this is set to use Adaptiva Server's local system account for Wake Tool. And if we scroll down, the last two options that need to be set are to enable unknown computer support if you'll be using the unknown computers collection. And for target collections, we set this to use all Adaptiva clients. The next step was to create a new boot image that includes the one site download or executable. To do this, we make a copy of the default one from the Config Manager install directory and place it into our deployments directory. Once we've done that, back in SCCM, we create a new boot image and distribute it to the distribution point. Then in the task sequence node, we create new task sequence media for this new boot image. Now back to Windows Explorer. We now have the new ISO file, which has a couple files we need to update our new boot WIM file. Using a tool such as 7-zip, we can open the archive and browse to the SMS data directory. There we can copy the variables.dat and tsm bootstrap.ini out of the file using the copy to command. With these two files copied out, we then added these, along with the OneSite downloader, to our new WIM file. Opening the file, we can see the changes that were made. Editing of the WIM file was done with the Deployment Tools command prompt, found in the Windows Automated Installation Kit Programs folder. Now with our boot image modified, we can go back into the SCCM console, go into the properties of our boot image, and on the customizations tab, select to enable command support. When you click OK after making this change, you will be prompted to update the distribution point. With our boot image ready to go, it's time to edit our task sequence to use it. Simply select the task sequence, choose properties, the advanced tab, and browse to select our new boot image. With that done, we then needed to add a task sequence variable to our task sequence to use our OneSite downloader executable. So we added the SMSTS download program variable, and for the value, made it x site downloader 64exe for the path we placed the executable into in the WIM file. Now with our boot image and task sequence all set up, 
The final item to be done is to publish all content in the task sequence as Adaptiva content. To do so, we go back to the Adaptiva Workbench, Package Perspective, and the SECM OSC Packages Explorer. Here we just right-click each package used by the task sequence and right-click to publish as Adaptiva content. Once the packages are published, the flag in front of them will turn green, indicating they are ready for use. Going back into SCCM, if we look at the references for this task sequence, we can confirm they are published as Adaptiva content. Also of note, we include an option to publish all reference task sequence packages, so you do not need to publish them individually. And that's all the steps needed to deploy an operating system with Adaptiva and the OneSite downloader to take advantage of the adaptive protocol and peer-to-peer -peer distribution. So now let's go back to our deployment we launched at the beginning and see how that's going. Pulling up a command prompt and going to the root drive, we can see not only the OneSite downloader executable, but also the OneSite downloader log file. Opening up this log file in Notepad, we can see the details that show the content is being delivered from a peer on the local subnet. And now through the magic of demos, I'm going to accelerate this recording to let this deployment complete. Because in this short time, we've already covered everything that needs to be done to deploy operating systems with Adaptiva. Our solution is by far the most efficient product on the market, both in terms of ease of use for personnel and in terms of resource efficiency. Again, this is because of our adaptive protocol, the fastest delivery mechanism possible to remote sites without any business impact at all and our peer-to-peer -peer delivery, ensuring any image is only downloaded to any site once, without the need for server and network resources and infrastructure to manage. For more information, feel free to email us. We'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and be sure to view our other videos to help conquer the complexity of IT. Adaptiva simply works.